Hey Simlays, it's Delicracy here and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you guys have had a really nice weekend and if you're not watching this when I upload it, I hope you're just having a good day in any case and yeah, hope you're just slaying, slaying life uh, and feeling good. I am doing a bit of a different build today. I am actually inspired by what I want to live in in real life for this build. So this build is actually the next apartment I'm looking to live in. Like this would be my ideal apartment. And I've actually done the whole apartment complex, but I'm only going to be furnishing the apartment I want to live in. So if you guys want to download this complex, it is on the gallery under the user Deligracy. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot my username then. I was like, under what user? Deligracy. Uh, so if you guys want to download it, you can. You can furnish the other apartments if you want to, or you can use it like I am going to use it, uh, which is just by blacking out the other apartments, locking the doors, and just playing in one apartment. But yeah, this is basically my dream apartment for this point in my life uh, because the apartment I'm in right now is absolutely perfect in like every way. I love where I live except for a couple of things that are kind of major that have actually made me think that I do want to move out of this apartment in like the next six months or so because it's really, really annoying me. <laughs> so one of those things is this apartment. I couldn't tell at the time when I was inspecting it, but it is really poorly insulated. So insulated. So it gets really, really, really hot and stifling in the summer. You guys probably heard me if you follow me on my Instagram or Twitter or in some of the videos I posted that I was like really, really hot recording during Australian summer. And I was like, when I was streaming, I was sweating so much and I'd eventually get to the stage where I actually felt a bit dizzy from being too overheated under my lights. I'd actually be like, okay guys, I'm getting a little bit hot now. I'm going to have to go offline. <laughs> so that is one major problem. But then I was like, well, you know, if summer was really hot, like I moved in right before summer, like in spring, I was thinking that means during winter, it'll be really, really warm. Well, guess what, you guys? It is now like winter almost and it is freezing. Like it is colder than outside the apartment during the day. And I'm like, what is with the insulation of this building? Like this is so not cool. So yeah, I have a little bit of an issue with that. And it's just, it's just not ideal. So that is like the number one thing. The other thing is it can get really noisy. And then the third thing is I really, really want to get a dog. I really want to get a chow chow still. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know I am kind of obsessed with chow chows. I am obsessed with chow chows. I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love them. There is no other breed of dog that I have the same kind of obsession with. It's really, really weird, <laughs> but I just love chow chows and I really, really, really do want to get one. Um, but I currently don't have a yard and I do have a balcony, but, uh, since I was speaking, well, since researching the breed, I did learn that they are very happy living in apartments and getting walks every day. But then I've also spoken to a lot of my friends who have dogs and they all kind of say the same thing that they think, even though the book says they're happy in apartments, it would be much, much better and a much happier life for the dog if they had a backyard. So, and like a little bit of grass to run around to and do their business on instead of just like a litter box. Uh, also, that would be easier for the household because then you wouldn't have like stinky doggy doozies around the house, you know, or in the little litter box area. So I was thinking about it and I'd really love to live in an apartment building where I actually have a backyard. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to build like my ideal apartment block and just furnish it and really think about exactly what I want. And I bet you it's going to take me quite a while to find this in Melbourne, especially when I need good internet and Australia has not so good internet at all. So that is what we're doing today. <laughs> that was like a really, really long explanation for you guys. Uh, so yeah, that is what we're doing right now. Um, so I'm just building the outside of an apartment complex. This, like I said before, this is not going to be my apartment, like one big house I want to live in because I can definitely not afford something like this. <laughs> Most definitely not. I'm still at the stage where I can rent something uh, small, up to, you know, two bedrooms, have an office and a bedroom, which is really, really fantastic. I'm really happy with that uh, and comfortable with that. So um, we are going to be furnishing the 
ground floor apartment that has a little fence on the side there. And yeah, I'm really pumped, pumped to do it. I'm also basing this build, uh, not on any images while I'm building it, but there is an apartment complex near where I live that when I drive past it, I'm always like, oh, that looks really, really nice. And an apartment just came up for lease in that building because I was Googling it a bit. And it turns out it's really expensive, so it's not somewhere I could afford to live, but I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. So this is a little bit inspired by that apartment building, but that apartment building, like the exterior is all white, like crisp white rendered building. And in The Sims, I feel like all white everything often just looks really bland and really bad, <laughs> whereas in real life, it can actually look quite impressive sometimes or quite nice. Uh, and quite modern. So I did end up adding like a little bit of stone texture. So we go with that gray inconsistent stone and also the um, dark wood I thought was kind of nice just to make it look a little bit more friendly, I suppose, unless like a concrete box or concrete coffin looking build, you know. In Australia, I don't know if this is the case in other countries, but in Australia often uh, really modern builds that are not very tasteful in their design. Um, builders or people in the building industry will often just call them coffins and especially if they're poorly made. <laughs> so that's where I got that sling from because my dad does a lot of work with builders, but yeah. Uh, so the gray apartment that's really dark there is going to be an unused apartment in this build. And the one with all the white walls, surprise, surprise, is going to be my apartment that we're going to be furnishing. And basically what I wanted to have in it was a kitchen, a little kitchen with an island bench, because of course, if I want to record cooking videos for you guys, which you've been requesting, I would like to have an island bench because it's just so much easier to film. Uh, because if you're just like facing inwards into a wall, like where are you meant to put your camera? Like on the side, so it's just a little bit awkward. So an island bench is kind of a must, if possible. And I also wanted to have an ensuite bathroom for my bedroom, a second bedroom for my office, or like a half bedroom office, uh, and a main bathroom, just so guests can have a separate bathroom to my bathroom. In an ideal world, I would love to have three bedrooms, so there is a full-on guest room for people to stay in, but I'm still at the point where I'm kind of growing my savings and whatnot to be able to actually have a place like that on my own, where there would be a great guest room for people to stay in. Uh, so realistically, we're sticking to two rooms, just my room and the office. And yeah, we're just uh, doing the upstairs apartments and I have put little floor plans in. Most of them are one bedroom apartments. So if you guys want to download this, you can either make them one bedroom apartments, like little ones, or you could combine like two of them to make them a bigger apartment. But they do have a little floor plan already if you guys want to use it straight away. And then I thought it would be nice to live in a building with lots of greenery around the building because I just think that looks really nice. I love greenery around buildings, on buildings, on top of buildings. I just think it is a really nice way to blend it more into the environment. I just like it a lot. And I did decide to put this little bit of roofing on top of the house, which yeah, I think it looks quite good. Just uh, blends in nicely and stops it from looking too boxy, like too, yeah, too boxy, because I know, I know a lot of modern builds can just look like boxes and aren't very appealing. I know a lot of you guys don't like modern builds. I personally in real life love them, but sometimes it's really hard to re recreate them in The Sims 4. So I'm just giving it my best shot. And then of course we needed to have like a little bit of an entranceway, a little bit of privacy. I do think it's important to feel still at home, even when you're in big apartment buildings. I think it's nice to have the little details of like a front gate or um, trees, greenery, flowers, you know. I think that's, those are the signs of a nice home. So yeah, we're just placing those around. And I also liked the idea of this house being on a foundation so I could have my own front steps to my apartment. That would be really nice because it would feel like your own little apartment entrance or your, your actual home entrance, as opposed to having to access your apartment through like a corridor with other doors coming off it, which is my current situation right now. So yeah, we're pretty much getting it all together now. Uh, also today I did post a video that was like a really casual get ready with me video. 
Uh, if you guys are watching this later down the track, I'm sure you could just search Deligacy Get Ready with me if you were curious, but it was just a video that, I mean, what happened was on the weekend, it was super busy for me because it was Mother's Day and I also had a meeting on the Friday, like an hour away from mine. Uh, so I wasn't able to make any videos on Friday and all weekend I was super busy as well. So in the end I had basically no time to make any Sims videos for you guys. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do like a get ready with me whilst I get ready to go out for Mother's Day dinner. So I did like a, a video um, talking a little bit about my anxiety that I have for the first time on YouTube. Um, often I mention it to you guys, but I've never really like properly spoken about it in a video. And yeah, I just posted that today. Um, so thank you, you guys who watched it and for those of you guys who left really lovely comments. Um, I also kind of spoke about that I want to give you guys more on YouTube. Like I feel like I have more to give than just playing Sims. And whilst you guys don't have to worry at all about me stopping Sims content, like I love playing Sims so much. <laughs> uh, that's, that's not a concern to you guys at all, don't worry. But I love mixing up content. So I was kind of like expressing that and saying, I feel like I have so much more to give and I'm just not sure what direction to go in. So if you guys have any ideas, do let me know in the comments down below because I love making content for you guys and I love sharing it. And I just want to know what you guys would love to watch or if you guys just want to chill and do more sit down videos, if you want more vlogs, more games, reactions. Uh, I mean, there's just so many things that I could do to get to know you guys better and just, you know, give you guys something to chill out with whatever kind of day you've had, whether you play it in the background or if you want to sit down and watch it and pay attention or go to sleep to it. I just love providing a little escape for everyone and I guess communicating with you guys. Like it's a really, really, really cool thing to be able to do. And yeah, I just love you guys so much. I just, I really love making videos and I just want to give you more. Like I feel like I'm a bursting bubble and I'm like I haven't quite burst yet you know what I mean I don't know is this like a weird thing to say to you guys <laughs> I just that's just the way I feel uh also I really wish we had a round table in this like I mean not a round table like a round modern table because I feel like these tables are so traditional and we have two of them that look almost the, exactly the same I'm just really looking forward to when we have more round tables available because the round tables are awesome. They're so handy. They're so easy to like fit in a corner like that. And uh, yeah, I just like them a lot. Also, I tried to recreate my couch at home that I already have. It's an L-shaped gray couch. And I'm also looking at buying a rug. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Another issue with my apartment building is my heels and feet get really sore because underneath my floorboards, which mustn't be real floorboards. They must be like uh, like a imitation floorboard. Uh, there must be so much concrete underneath because my feet get really, really sore if I walk around my apartment for too long. So that's another issue with the apartment is it actually hurts my feet. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't sound great, does it? So yeah, I, I, think, uh, I think it's gonna be time to move in, a, in about six months when my lease is up. But moving is so much effort. Like. I don't know about you guys. I think most people hate moving and a lot of people really dislike change. Maybe you guys dislike change, but I actually really love moving and love change and love settling into new places. The only problem is I just hate the process of moving all of my stuff and packing all of my stuff and resetting up all my stuff. It is so much effort to move house or apartment. <laughs> it's just like you got you guys who have moved know how much effort it is. It's a lot. So I'm trying to, like, whenever I have something that I'm not really using, I'm trying to get rid of it, like, straight away instead of just, like, putting it away in storage. I'm like, nope, that's going to make it harder when the time comes I need to move. So, yeah. Also, I was going to just put a wardrobe here, like that, in the bedroom. And I was like, well, hold on. If this is my ideal apartment, I'm going to need a bigger wardrobe. 
Currently, I have a really, really nice wardrobe that is kind of like Carrie Bradshaw's apartment from Sex and the City, one of my all-time faves. Uh, you actually walk through the wardrobe, wardrobe to get to the bathroom. So I love the fact that I have that this apartment. Like, oh, this apartment would be so perfect if it, if it had those few things I'm talking about fixed. But... Uh, yeah, for this apartment, I was like, well, we still need to keep the double wardrobes. They it might not run into the bathroom, but I still want to make it bigger. So I'm just extending the building right now to make a bigger wardrobe for myself. <laughs> I mean, it's the ideal kind of situation for the next apartment. So I'm just going to be placing that in. And also in the comments down below, you guys, let me know what kind of uh, apartment or home or like little shared house or bedroom you guys want to have next you know everyone's on their own timeline uh, everyone has different living situations so an upgrade might just be a room for you guys or it might be a whole house whatever it is what kind of upgrade do you want like what is something that you would really like to have that is somewhat achievable i would love to know in the comments down below i mean for me it's a little backyard <laughs> and uh floorboards that don't hurt my feet <laughs> Uh, and an island kitchen top. Oh, and also that's a bed for Mr. Chow Chow. I included pet things because hello, Mr. Chow Chow is definitely gonna be in my next place, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, just including all of those. And then this elongated room doesn't have any windows, which is actually fine for me if it's recording. So this is my recording room. I was kind of shattered that these lights didn't fit in that photo studio. Uh, so I kind of put in some other lights that don't really look like the lights I use when I record and film and stream, but they'll do. Uh, they kind of look like spotlights, I guess. But yeah, this is going to be my little office and it's elongated because I actually want a bigger space behind me. So, um, so my camera looks a little bit better with my background. Like it's good to have space behind you, I think in, in studios. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm just putting like my greenery behind me, a uh, nice little painting, teddy bear toys, uh, fairy lights, kind of the setup that I have right now, uh, that you guys might be familiar with in my other videos when I have face cam on. So yeah. And I love fashion illustrations. So I've just put up some fashion illustrations there. So anyway, this is the exterior of the apartment um, building that I've just made. It is pretty plain and simple and modern. Is it the nicest looking thing ever? No, but I think it's pretty realistic for what's around me in Melbourne. And yeah, I wouldn't mind living in a building kind of like this. I have to go for modern buildings because the modern newer buildings are the ones with the good internet in Melbourne. So that is why I kind of just went for modern straight off the bat. I would love like a converted like a converted factory or something that's more old school with more character uh, that's been made to be modern. But realistically, that is really hard to find for an affordable price. So also there are all these Sims I moved into this house that are just sleeping like on the couch, on my bed. Like it's, I don't know why they were all napping, but they just were <laughs> when I took these screenshots. And then there's my little kitchen with my stools, my little bedroom with the beautiful outside view. And yeah, that is, that is pretty much my next dream apartment, semi-dream apartment. Not the ultimate dream, but the realistic dream for the next one. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And definitely turn on that notification bell if you do want to be alerted when I upload. Anyway, you guys, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, I cannot wait to speak to you soon. Have a good week and yeah, I love you guys. See ya.